Shoot 'em up, also known as shmup or STG, is a subgenre of the shooter genre of video games. There is no consensus as to which design elements compose a shoot 'em up. Some restrict the definition to games featuring spacecraft and certain types of character movement. Others allow a broader definition including characters on foot and a variety of perspectives. The genre's origins can be traced back to Space War, one of the earliest computer games developed in 1962. In the late 1970s, games such as Space Invaders and Asteroids popularized the genre. Shoot 'em ups were popular throughout the 1980s and early 1990s. In the mid 1990s, shoot 'em ups became a niche genre based on design conventions established in the 1980s, and increasingly catered to specialist enthusiasts, particularly in Japan. Bullet Hell games are a subgenre that features overwhelming numbers of enemy projectiles, often in visually impressive formations. Definition A «shoot 'em up», also known as a «shmup» or «stg», the common Japanese abbreviation for «shooting games», is a game in which the protagonist combats a large number of enemies by shooting at them while dodging their fire. The controlling player must rely primarily on reaction times to succeed. Beyond this, critics differ on exactly which design elements constitute a shoot 'em up. Some restrict the genre to games featuring some kind of craft, using fixed or scrolling movement. Others widen the scope to include games featuring such protagonists as robots or humans on foot, as well as including games featuring on rails or into the screen and run and gun movement. Mark Wolf restricts the definition to games featuring multiple antagonists. Um, being short for them, calling games featuring one-on-one -on -one shooting combat games. Formerly, critics described any game where the primary design element was shooting as a shoot 'em up, but later shoot 'em ups became a specific, inward-looking genre based on design conventions established in those shooting games of the 1980s. Topic: <laughs> Common elements. Shoot 'em ups are a subgenre of shooter game, in turn, a type of action game. These games are usually viewed from a top down or side view perspective, and players must use ranged weapons to take action at a distance. The player's avatar is typically a vehicle under constant attack. Thus, the player's goal is to shoot as quickly as possible at anything that moves or threatens him. In some games, the player's character can withstand some damage, in others, a single hit will result in his destruction. The main skills required in shoot 'em ups are fast reactions and memorizing enemy attack patterns. Some games feature overwhelming numbers of enemy projectiles and the player has to memorize their patterns to survive. These games belong to one of the fastest paced video game genres. Large numbers of enemy characters are typically featured. These enemies may behave in a certain way dependent on their type, or attack in formations that the player can learn to predict. The basic gameplay tends to be straightforward and many games offset this with boss battles and a variety of weapons. Shoot 'em ups rarely have realistic physics. Characters can instantly change direction with no inertia, and projectiles move in a straight line at constant speeds. The player's character can collect power ups, which may afford the character greater protection, and extra life, or upgraded weaponry. Different weapons are often suited to different enemies, but these games seldom keep track of ammunition. As such, players tend to fire indiscriminately, and their weapons only damage legitimate targets. Types Shoot 'em ups are categorized by design elements, particularly viewpoint and movement. Fixed shooters such as Space Invaders restrict the protagonist to a single axis of motion. Enemies attack in a single direction, such as descending from the top of the screen, and each level is contained within a single screen. These games are sometimes called gallery shooters. Atari's Centipede is a hybrid, in that the player can move freely, but that movement is constrained to a small area at the bottom of the screen, and the game otherwise meets the fixed shooter definition. Rail shooters limit the player to moving around the screen while the game follows a specific route. These games often feature an into the screen viewpoint, with which the action is seen from behind the player character, and moves into the screen 
while the player retains control over dodging. Examples include Space Harrier 1985, Captain Skyhawk 1990, Star Wars, Rebel Assault 1993, Panzer Dragoon 1995, Star Fox 64 1997, and Sin and Punishment 2000. Light gun games that are «on rails» are not in the shoot em up category but the FPS category, and the term has also been applied to scripted events in first person shooters such as Call of Duty. Tube shooters feature craft flying through an abstract tube, scrolling shooters include vertical or horizontal scrolling games. Vertically scrolling shooters, in a vertically scrolling shoot em up or vertical scroller, the action is viewed from above and scrolls up or very occasionally down the screen. Horizontally scrolling shooters, in a horizontal shooter or side scrolling shooter, the action is viewed side on and scrolls horizontally. Isometrically scrolling shooters, a small number of scrolling shooters, such as Sega's Zaxxon, feature an isometric point of view. Multidirectional shooters feature 360 degree movement where the protagonist may rotate and move in any direction. Multidirectional shooters with one joystick for movement and one joystick for firing in any direction independent of movement are called twin stick shooters. Bullet Hell, Dan Mu Danmaku, literally, barrage, or bullet curtain, is a shoot em up in which the entire screen is often almost completely filled with enemy bullets. This type is also known as curtain fire, manic shooters, or maniac shooters. This style of game originated in the mid 1990s, and is an offshoot of scrolling shooters. Qtem ups feature brightly colored graphics depicting surreal settings and enemies. Newer, particularly Japanese, Qtem ups may employ overtly sexual characters and innuendo. Qtem ups tend to have unusual, oftentimes completely bizarre opponents for the player to fight, with the Paradius franchise being an example. Run and Gun or Run and Gun describes a shoot em up in which the protagonist fights on foot, perhaps with the ability to jump. Run and gun games may use side-scrolling, vertical scrolling or isometric viewpoints and may feature multidirectional movement. History Origins and rise The genre's exact origins are a matter of some confusion. Video game journalist Brian Ashcraft pinpoints Spacewar, one of the very earliest computer games as the first shoot em up, but the later Space Invaders is more frequently cited as the first or original in the genre. Space War was developed at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1961 for the amusement of the developers. It was, however, remade four times as an arcade game in the early to mid 1970s. The game featured combat between two spacecraft. However, it was not until 1978 Seminal Space Invaders, created by Nishikado at Japan's Taito Corporation, that the shooter genre became prolific. Space Invaders pitted the player against multiple enemies descending from the top of the screen at a constantly increasing rate of speed. The game used alien creatures inspired by The War of the Worlds by H. G. Wells because the developers were unable to render the movement of aircraft. In turn, the aliens replaced human enemies because of moral concerns regarding the portrayal of killing humans on the part of Taito Corporation. As with subsequent shoot em ups of the time, the game was set in space as the available technology only permitted a black background. The game also introduced the idea of giving the player a number of lives. It popularized a more interactive style of gameplay with the enemies responding to the player-controlled cannon's movement, and it was the first video game to popularize the concept of achieving a high score, being the first to save the player's score. The aliens of Space Invaders returned fire at the protagonist, making them the first arcade game targets to do so. It set the template for the shoot-em-up genre, and has influenced most shooting games released since then. Golden Age and refinement In 1979, Namco's Galaxian, the granddaddy of all top-down shooters, according to IGN, was released. Its use of color graphics and individualized antagonists were considered strong evolutionary concepts among spaceship games. 
That same year saw the release of SNK's debut shoot 'em up Ozma Wars, notable for being the first action game to feature a supply of energy, resembling a life bar, a mechanic that has now become common in the majority of modern action games. It also featured vertically scrolling backgrounds and enemies. In 1981, Defender established scrolling in shoot 'em ups, offering horizontally extended levels. Unlike most later games in the genre, the player could move in either direction. The game's use of scrolling helped remove design limitations associated with the screen, and though the game's minimap feature had been introduced before, Defender integrated it into the gameplay in a more essential manner. Konami's Scramble, released in 1981, is a side-scrolling shooter with forced scrolling. It was the first scrolling shooter to offer multiple, distinct levels. Atari's Tempest, released in 1981, is one of the earliest tube shooters and an early attempt to incorporate a 3D perspective into shooter games. Tempest ultimately went on to influence major rail shooters. Vertical scrolling shooters emerged around the same time. Namco's Xevious, released in 1982, is frequently cited as the first vertical scrolling shooter, and, although it was in fact preceded by several other games of that type, it is considered one of the most influential. Xevious is also the first to convincingly portray realistic landscapes as opposed to purely science fiction settings. While Asteroids allowed the player to rotate the game's spacecraft, 1982's highly acclaimed Robotron, 2084 was most influential on subsequent multi directional shooters. Sega's Space Harrier, a rail shooter released in 1985, broke new ground graphically and its wide variety of settings across multiple levels gave players more to aim for than high scores. 1985 also saw the release of Konami's Gradius, which gave the player greater control over the choice of weaponry, thus introducing another element of strategy. The game also introduced the need for the player to memorize levels in order to achieve any measure of success. Gradius, with its iconic protagonist, defined the side-scrolling shoot'em up and spawned a series spanning several sequels. The following year saw the emergence of one of Sega's forefront series with its game Fantasy Zone. The game received acclaim for its surreal graphics and setting and the protagonist, OPA OPA, was for a time considered Sega's mascot. The game borrowed Defender's device of allowing the player to control the direction of flight and along with the earlier Twinbee 1985, is an early archetype of the cute em up subgenre. R-Type, an acclaimed side-scrolling shoot-em up, was released in 1987 by IREM, employing slower-paced scrolling than usual, with difficult levels calling for methodical strategies. 1990's Raiden was the beginning of another acclaimed and enduring series to emerge from this period, shoot-em ups such as SNK's Akari Warriors featuring characters on foot, rather than spacecraft, became popular in the mid-1980s in the wake of action movies such as Rambo, First Blood Part II. The origins of this type go back to Sheriff by Nintendo, released in 1979. Taito's Frontline established the upward scrolling formula later popularized by Commando, in 1985. Commando also drew comparisons to Rambo and indeed contemporary critics considered military themes and protagonists similar to Rambo or Schwarzenegger prerequisites for a shoot 'em up, as opposed to an action adventure game. In 1986, Arsis Software released Weeberm, a shooter that switched between a 2D side scrolling view in outdoor areas to a fully 3D polygonal third person perspective inside buildings, while bosses were fought in an arena style 2D battle, with the game featuring a variety of weapons and equipment. In 1987, Square's 3D World Runner was an early stereoscopic 3D shooter played from a third person perspective, followed later that year by its sequel JJ, and the following year by Space Harrier 3D which used the Segascope 3D shutter glasses. That same year, Sega's Thunder Blade switched between both a top-down view and a third person view, and introduced the use of force feedback, where the joystick vibrates. Also in 1987, Konami created Contra as an coin-op arcade game that was particularly acclaimed for its multi-directional aiming and two-player cooperative gameplay. However, by the early 1990s and the popularity of 16-bit consoles, the scrolling shooter genre was overcrowded, with developers struggling to make their games stand out one exception being the inventive Gunstar Heroes, by Treasure. Bullet Hell and Niche Appeal A new type of shoot-em-up emerged in the early 1990s, variously termed, "...bullet hell", 
Manic Shooters, Maniac Shooters, and Danmaku. Dan Barrage. These games required the player to dodge overwhelming numbers of enemy projectiles and called for still more consistent reactions from players. Bullet Hell games arose from the need for 2D shoot 'em up developers to compete with the emerging popularity of 3D games. Huge numbers of missiles on screen were intended to impress players. Toplin's Batsagoon 1993 provided the prototypical template for this new breed, with Cave formed by former employees of Toplan, including Batsugun's main creator Seneki Ikeda, after the latter company collapsed inventing the type proper with 1995's Donpachi. Bullet Hell games marked another point where the shoot 'em up genre began to cater to more dedicated players. Games such as Gradius had been more difficult than Space Invaders or Xevious, but Bullet Hell games were yet more inward looking and aimed at dedicated fans of the genre looking for greater challenges. While shooter games featuring protagonists on foot largely moved to 3D based genres, popular, long running series such as Contra and Metal Slug continued to receive new sequels. Rail shooters have rarely been released in the new millennium, with only Res and Panzer Dragoon Orta achieving cult recognition. Treasures Shoot 'em Up, Radiant Silvergun 1998, introduced an element of narrative to the genre. It was critically acclaimed for its refined design, though it was not released outside Japan and remains a much sought-after collector's item. Its successor Akaruga 2001 featured improved graphics and was again acclaimed as one of the best games in the genre. Both Radiant Silvergun and Akaruga were later released on Xbox Live Arcade. The Toho Project series spans 22 years and 27 games as of 2018 and was listed in the Guinness World Records in October 2010 for being the most prolific fan made shooter series. The genre has undergone something of a resurgence with the release of the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Wii online services, while in Japan arcade shoot 'em ups retain a deep rooted niche popularity. Geometry Wars – Retro Evolved was released on Xbox Live Arcade in 2005 and in particular stood out from the various re-releases and casual games available on the service. The PC has also seen its share of doujin shoot 'em ups like Crimson Clover, Jamestown, Legend of the Lost Colony, Xenoslave Overdrive, and the Exceed series. However, despite the genre's continued appeal to an enthusiastic niche of players, shoot 'em up developers are increasingly embattled financially by the power of home consoles and their attendant genres. Topic: See also Video games Media related to video games at Wikimedia Commons equals equals notes. <laughs>